to Hillsboro River State Park, take a little walk, and uh, hopefully I can grab some shots. Won't you come along? Oh, I'm not gonna be stuck in the mud this time. All right, so I finally made it to the park. Um, pretty busy day here. There was like 10 cars in line when I uh, showed up. Uh, snagged a spot at the uh, first parking lot, so that's good. And um, yeah, let's see what we can get. first composition and uh, it's this tree right here yeah I love the way the water is so calm right now it's just reflecting uh, almost a symmetrical picture um, of it and uh, yeah so I'll tell you how I got this um, right now I've got a uh, Shutter speed of 15 seconds, um, F8, try and get it all in focus. Um, hopefully it's sharp, um, and ISO 100. I've got uh, my Nisi landscape uh, circular polarizer on there, and a, uh, a Hydea uh, six stop ND, uh, and that allows me to get that 15 seconds and uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll throw up on the screen what it looks like without uh, the ND filter. And uh, what it looks like with the ND filter. Hope you enjoy. So uh, I actually decided to switch up my composition a little bit. And if we take about 10 steps this way, trying not to slide into the river here, we'll get a more direct shot onto the tree. So, I don't know. A little different um, similar idea get that symmetrical shot and uh, yeah tell me what you think this is something that uh I'm always looking for in uh, landscapes is uh, symmetry so that's kind of why I stopped at that first spot um, it's also why you know I love water uh, the reflections right though they're an easy way to get that that symmetrical image so Always look for water, that's my tip.
right, so I'm going to talk about uh, this composition right here. Um, so I, I found a, a few pictures that I think I like, but uh, basically we've got a nice flowing river right here, right? Um, all the reflection off the water are going to make for a, a great long exposure. I love the roots of this uh, tree right here. And then we got some nice boulders as well, mess around in the foreground. So this is a, uh, oh, this is what I came up with. And I've got it set F11, uh, four seconds, ISO 100. And here is the result. See how that water is nice and smooth around those rocks and even I love the reflection that we're getting from the, the sun and these trees in the background. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show you a bigger uh, image right now. I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I think this is my last uh, stop for the day and then I gotta get to go because it's about an hour drive home. So, pretty obvious composition here. You got the, uh, the rapids. I'm gonna try and do another long exposure. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a leading line. So I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I just wanted to show you exactly what difference the uh, circular polarizer is making. So, this is, look at the water right there. This is no polarization. Look at it, just as I spin it, how much, how big of a difference that makes. So I'll show you a, a comparison between the two images I just took and uh, yeah, let me know which one you like better. I'm kind of torn. Is gonna do it for this episode and uh hope you enjoyed the shots that i grabbed uh let me know if you have any critiques any feedback on uh, the, the images or the video uh love to hear from you all right see you